Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. Uh, you're still watching The Breakfast Show live on Nile TV International. Uh, and uh, it's now time for our second topic of discussion uh, for today. And we're going to be shedding the light on uh, the promotion of education and its importance in qualifying students for the job market and to shed more light on this topic uh, we're most delighted to be joined in the studio by dr jihan zahran educational development and technology consultant a very good morning dr jihan and thank you so much for joining good morning us. Uh, doctor first of all uh, how do you see president Afatah Sisi's efforts in achieving a notable educational development Actually, what happened two days ago uh, when he started by himself opening artificial intelligence schools in Kafr mm -hmm. Sheikh University, that's something having a very good significance. Mm -hmm. I know, meaning that he's focusing by himself and he's telling this is the future. And uh, this is one of his words. The future is not only in Egypt, but in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, uh, doctor, uh, the implementation of the university's... Uh, um, strategy towards uh, achieving the uh, 2030 Egypt's vision and the SDGs. How do you see that? Um, I see a very good step regarding that. To mm -hmm. achieve that, of course, it's not, it's not what not will happen in just one day. It needs a lot of steps to be done. Mm -hmm. But what I see is a little bit speed and progress for doing such, um, you know, like an action on the ground. Uh, starting with, uh, with the President Sisi when he said actually no universities, there is none university will start without a global partnerships. Mm -hmm. And uh, really I was mentioning that all the time. And that makes a lot of things happening in the standard of education in that universities. Mm -hmm. So starting from the quality of the curricula and the standards of the teachers or the professors or the educators. Mm -hmm. Uh, as well as all of that will reflect on the student's standard. Mm -hmm. uh, you have uh, kindly noted in your uh, remarks uh, that uh, President Fatah Sisi has uh, paid the special attention to the differently abled. Uh, what about uh, the uh, efforts of the uh, public and private universities uh, towards an inclusive education for all students, the differently abled? as well as uh, the other students. So you came to the sensitive part, actually. <laughs> I, w I was about to announce it, but thank you for, for letting me talk about that. Um, I'm, I'm just working, like uh, two years ago, on, on, on another program of the special needs in education, mm -hmm. in technology in education. Okay, it's normal to have them educated and to let them integrated with the normal students. Mm -hmm. But there is no problem actually with the special needs or students in special needs. Mm -hmm. The problem is the normal students. Mm -hmm. so how can they accept and awareness yes. and integrated mm -hmm. and communicated with such kinds of disabilities? Mm -hmm. So uh, what's happening right now, something called IDMAG, okay? And, and this IDMAG uh, program is an integration between the, the technology, the offline and the online system in education. Mm -hmm. So it has something called uh, blended learning, all right? Technology as well, awareness from the normal people how to share, because the special needs, they are gifted in some skills. Yes. Okay, indeed. they are amazing in one of the skills or maybe two. Mm -hmm. So how can the normal people, they understand that? and to know exactly that they are over them in such skills. Mm -hmm. So they will go and listen and share. So when they know that they are special, so they will share their already skills. From that point, it will come the integration mm -hmm. and communication between normal and the special needs. Yes. So in that kind, it will not be like normal. I'm not helping the special needs, mm -hmm. but not. I'm not helping them. I am sharing skills i am sharing knowledge with them mm -hmm. okay so this is the idea of idmag itself mm -hmm. moreover we will have something um, in, in in this protocol or, or this uh, a new system of technology and education and, uh, and the special needs not only in egypt 
as Egypt is a leader for, for uh, uh, you know, like Africa and the Middle East and such a lot of things. So it will be a leader also in that. Mm -hmm. The communication and integration and sharing knowledge between the people here with that technology and sharing the info between here and there and getting out with the cycle of a standard of being, you know, like smooth in making the technology and education special needs, that will make something completely different. You know the students, most of the time, the normal one, he needs something just to encourage him to help, mm -hmm. encourage him to do. So in that IDMAG, we just put some points and maybe it will help and make the courage and passion to the normal students to be integrated and shadow with the special needs, mm -hmm. like scholarships. Yeah. Like something already will be special in that, like integration between outside uh, universities, uh, which is related to that field, and here mm -hmm. in, in Egypt. Mm -hmm. So all of this protocol or all of this program related to that, it will complete the cycle, the missing points mm -hmm. that we didn't look before it before. Mm -hmm. So maybe that will, will make a different, completely different image of the education in technology in kids in special needs. Especially in, in, in just, in, you know, the, the whole world, we have 100 million special needs in the whole world. Mm -hmm. uh, 40 of them in, in, in our Arab countries. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you're talking about 40 millions. Half of them, teenagers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So half of them, They're we need to take care education. about it. Mm -hmm. They are a lot and they need help. It's not just a show, it's not just something that we are helping them, no. We are getting help from them, mm -hmm. okay, to get the passion mm -hmm. and to complete mm -hmm. what we're supposed to do ethically. Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Jihan, uh, speaking about uh, the full integration that you have uh, kindly uh, mentioned, uh, um, what other examples in in uh, in let's say other countries that were implemented that we can have a lesson learned from and implement in Egypt to successfully integrate those differently abled uh, students or children in the educational system actually that system you know like likely happening abroad uh, especially in Arab and the States. Mm -hmm. They have a very good and smooth system. Mm -hmm. But th the most important thing that the, the normal students, they have the awareness, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is what we're missing mm -hmm. from the normal students. Mm -hmm. They need to have the awareness. They need to have the legal, okay, law for schools. Mm -hmm. You know, most of the schools, they can have like a part of special needs students in their school and then suddenly they can, okay, we close that class. Mm. But uh, abroad, and we need to have like something legally here. When you start, there is a lot of procedures to say, no, I cannot continue, okay? Mm -hmm. And also, uh, the models outside, it's, it's integrated between uh, the, the interaction, okay? When you have the awareness in the normal students, mm -hmm. he will accept easily what he's doing. He needs to share. He needs to take from you something and you take from him something and that's yeah. coming from the sharing. Win-win. Win-win. Students in that time, you know, like they need all the time someone to, to take and give and the interaction. They like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when you tell them, when you just put the spotlight on this gift, you know, like with the special needs, they will need to know. You know, most of the special um, needs the students, they have, they are brilliant you now, yes. like genius in one of the skills. Mm -hmm. You know, I know one of them, actually, he's, he's riding horses with me, mm -hmm. and uh, he is amazing in history. Mm -hmm. Amazing in history, just tell them a certain time. And he will tell you everything in details with the certain numbers. You wow. cannot imagine, like, a book in front of you opened. Mm -hmm. So, when it's special, doing that sharing, okay, with the normal one, he will know that he's gifted. Mm -hmm. And he will give that easily to the normal students. How can he do that? Mm -hmm. Or how can we share the skills? And the normal will give him something else. Yes. And from that time, they will accept each other easily mm -hmm. and smoothly. Uh, doctor, speaking about acceptance, don't you believe that uh, the president or the head of state uh, going... Uh, 
uh, interacting with the differently abled uh, children and uh, what we have seen uh, as we were marking the International Day for Children with Disabilities. Don't you think that would change the culture or the mindset? I love what he's doing actually mm. regarding that because there is no focusing before on this part before mm. I love what he's doing I wish to sit with him like half an it's hour from heart to heart to tell him what's going on mm. to tell him this system and how it can be done I'm sure when he listened to it he will say let's do it mm -hmm. because this is something really you can touch it by yourself it's not a normal education mm -hmm. it's something in and out something offline as we need to do with a certain activities and online as the technology is saying nowadays mm -hmm. so we are integrating what's in the future what's something regarding that's the SDGs in 2030 mm -hmm. and all the time and most of the time that we are doing also an activities online mm -hmm. the system what I'm talking about it's using each facility in our country all right which is not used right now regarding that point yeah. So what I'm seeing, of course, is something that really makes so passionate and makes the people really know what can be done and the integration. But EDMAG is something will really make technology in education and the way of education, standard of education, will make really something parents will touch it. Mm -hmm. They will feel it. They will know it with the kids. Mm -hmm. We don't need that kids to be just integrated in a normal way they will be involved in a smooth way mm -hmm. yes indeed uh, dr jen also uh, today we witness uh, great efforts to develop education in egypt yeah. in your opinion what could be done uh, in order to further boost uh, or uh, strengthen these efforts actually what i'm saying also uh, just um, it will not just going out suddenly and we see the results but what I see and, and, and what is on the ground right now is an international curriculum mm -hmm. okay and the global partnerships mm -hmm. and that will make you know like by force <laughs> yes. level higher level of standards mm -hmm. of all the aspects of education yes indeed. students um, you know like right now doesn't need to go abroad and study some certain you know like fields to receive no, like qu uh, quality education they will receive everything here mm -hmm. but we need to focus on the professors to upgrade themselves mm -hmm. to be um, on the level of knowledge mm -hmm. okay to be on the speed of what's going on in Egypt they need to know exactly what's going on because most of the universities they need professors they need Egyptian well-known professors and we have them mm -hmm. but we need to know more about that and um, also it, it, it will you know like affect the market as you um, wish to say the integration mm -hmm. between the market needs before you know that the top universities is the medicine and the engineering pharmacy and you know like most of the parents and even the students this is my target now when the president cc opens such a kind of artificial ai intelligence in kafir mm -hmm. sheikh university he's making focusing and tell all the students and parents this is the future all right you have to focus on these fields because there is no fields in the whole world will not be starting without that, without mm. artificial intelligence, everything. So when you got more people talking about this, and this is the top universities, this is the top, because the top is the requirement, mm. not the top is the name, requirement on the market. Yes. So if there's a requirement in the market, not only in Egypt, but all over the world, so it is the top universities. Yes. Uh, Dr. Jihan, uh, to what extent does Egypt uh, prioritize investment in the human capital, which is a core in uh, a population of more than 100 million? Uh, and uh, has it become difficult to um, develop the human capacity nowadays? No, I don't think it's difficult mm -hmm. because we, we are, you know, like such a knowledgeable. Uh, people you know mm -hmm. like the Egyptian knows exactly which right and which wrong yes and you know what's going on in the steps they see it on the ground 
-hmm. You see, you know, you see the roads right now, how it's developed, mm -hmm. how we can go in an easiest way, mm -hmm. how we will go there and we see all the facilities that it's been had done before. Yes. The universities, the international universities, which is in the capital right now, this is a very huge sign mm. to the whole world. It's telling this is another city. This is a new capital. This is a new generation. This is a new image of mm. Egypt, which is really coming back to nature. Because Egypt is leaders, you know that, in, in, yes. in lots of things. But we, we come back mm. to our nature. We come back to be a leaders in everything. The new republic. The new republic. Yes, indeed. Uh, Dr. Jihan, in what way can also the government um, uh, push the uh, public universities to play uh, a bigger role in the field of uh, scientific research, uh, artificial intelligence, as you have kindly noted, uh, modern science, technology, and so on and so forth? Technology universities right now is, is making uh, fast step, actually, in Egypt. And it is well known from, from the support, from the fund, from the focusing on the universities right now. And it is, you know, like knowledgeable, something that really we needed to know before. But when we just know exactly that's happening right now on the ground, we just follow and focus. So what Egypt is doing right now with this really amazing, you know, like... Uh, decisions of our president regarding this, especially education, it's a kind of investment. You are investing in your people. You are Man investing. Manpower. Yes, mm. you're investing in them. Man and woman, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're investing in yeah. them. You're investing in your youth. And mm. that's the future. Mm. That's the new republic. That's mm. the generation that we need. Mm. They are our leaders later on. Mm. And that's he's doing in his vision. His vision now is just to bring up such a different generation yes. to lead us in the right way. Yes, indeed. Uh, Dr. Jen, as we're wrapping up uh, your closing remarks, we'd like to listen to your uh, closing remarks on this topic. I, I, I need the president to listen to what the new program of special needs. Mm -hmm. I, I'm just announcing from your program here. I need to sit with him and have an hour and mm -hmm. tell him what's going on. Mm -hmm. Of course, What's going on in Egypt is completely different. And we are different. Mm -hmm. And we need to focus on this kind of kids and special needs. They are suffering internally. Mm -hmm. And I know most of them. I know people are, are, are giving a lot of you know, like money and, and time to their kids. And some of them traveling abroad, by the way, to get you know, like, uh, the standard of education for the kids. But we have the ability to do everything here in Egypt easily. Hmm. Let's do that. Indeed. Uh, Dr. Jehan Zahron, uh, Educational Development and Technology Consultant. Uh, we you. really appreciate uh, your <laughs> insight and thank you so much for being with us on The Breakfast Show. Yeah, thanks to you, really. Thank you so much. Uh, thank it's you, always Kiri. a pleasure, Dr. Jehan. Thank you, And uh, dear viewers, uh, by this we come to the end of uh, today's episode of The Breakfast Show uh, on Nile TV International. You're in the company of myself, Karim Gamaluddin, and my colleague, Dina Hussain. Until we meet again, this is goodbye.